all, and welcome to our webinar titled Migrate to Success with the SCCM Service Graph Connector. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to begin. It is my privilege to announce today's speaker. We have Jake McKenna, our Director of Technical Execution, and he is our expert on today's webinar. Jake, I'll let you take it over. All right, thanks, Rachel. So the first thing we want to talk about today really is kind of just looking at the use cases around SCCM. And really, I think the, the main driver here is to say, you know, what is SCCM? What does it do in my environment? And, and the concepts around that, that topic. So when we talk about SCCM, really the, the benefit of having this integration in our system is to help us with supporting the end user devices into the CMDB. This, this really gives us that visibility into the, the supportability and also the maintenance of, of what we have out there that kind of help encapsulate, you know, details that we need to help drive the ITSM process or even the ITAM processes themselves. Uh, ITAM in, in general, normally because we talk about hard rest and management, where SECM is giving us visibility into what's out there in our environment, who's using it, what was the last time we saw it check in, those kind of concepts as far as our asset health, as far as our deployed assets. And really matching those up to what we're purchasing is really a key helpful integration in, in that use case. The other one from an asset management standpoint is, is related to software asset management, where we start talking about the concepts of software, software usage, looking at are people actually using the software we deploy to their machines that are coming in from SCCM, or even just the software installations that are on the machines themselves. And we can take that data and actually run reports, analyze it from a compliance standpoint, and even go as far as leveraging SECM as a way to deploy new software using the request catalog, or even reclaiming software if we see it as being a low usage or no usage type scenario, given the data we're getting from SECM. So, so in, in many cases, really what we're saying is that SECM is a great helpful tool within that ServiceNow environment that really supports a lot of those processes that we need to really drive kind of beneficial agreements between the asset management and other processes too from that standpoint. Next, it really is it's about the, the upgrade process itself and, and why upgrade to SECM. So we talk about upgrading to the new version. Uh, really, we're talking about the service graph connectors. And, and what this means to us is taking a, a better approach to what we are doing today. So right now, you know, in many cases, when we talk about what service graph connectors do, how they work, and what that adoption looks like, it is there's a lot of great kind of concepts to kind of consider here. First thing really worth saying is that doing this integration or upgrade is really beneficial to us because it actually ends up being a free upgrade. So if we're trying to get into server graph connectors or don't have the visibility licensing or, or don't have discovery yet in, in today's world, you know, normally you're not allowed to use server graph connectors at that, at that point. With this, you can actually take advantage of the server graph connector for SCCM because now you have the ability to leverage it and, and get the, the ability to work through the IRE, identifying, you know, better beneficial functionality that aligns to the CSDM. Those kind of concepts really are something that we can leverage from, from service graph connectors. You know, in today's world, the data sources, you know, feed into a transform map that basically will, could leverage the IRE, but it's not a full-fledged integration. There's still some way to kind of backdoor into the CMDB, overwrite data that you have rules identified for, and, and almost in some cases, cause you to have a, a troubling integrations concept. With the service graph connector, it's a little more streamlined. So the data sources go into the Rust transform engine, the IRE is then leveraged for identification, and then all the reconciliation rules are adopted. So if you have rules as far as identifying what makes a, a, a unique record, um, those are all adopted. And then also if you have reconciliation rules that say when to insert, maybe when to block and insert from SECM, those again will be, be adopted right away. So it's a little bit more of a functioning multi-source data source can really be adopted in the CMDB. Next, we'll cover what does migration look like in this case for SECM. So when we talk about the migration, really what I think we're looking at too is, is what do we need to do to actually get through this process? In many cases, I think that the first thing in for Fulmers is to enable the plugins. Uh, once we do that, we really can start to assess where we're at. Um, the first plugin I would actually recommend updating would be the SEC of migration readiness tool. In this case, it's going to give us a good understanding of if we were to go with a server graph connector, here's the things we would need to, to change. Here's the areas of impact that we could see from a ServiceNow perspective, maybe reverting scripts, uh, understanding that these uh, current uh, mappings will not be aligned in the current version. There's a lot of great actually information from that standpoint. 
taking this information and kind of making a list of action items or tasks of what to do will help us with that successful migration from that standpoint. Once we have that, that understood, we can go through a process of enabling the plugins, leveraging the uh, integration hub ETL to, to actually build out the integration and review the current out of box mappings. And this is also important to you because with the new version, there actually has been some changes to the query from that standpoint. So the query is different a little bit from the 2016 version. There's also some other changes that we've seen from a field mapping perspective. And I think it's really about making sure that what we have configured today is not lost or any kind of edits or considerations that you guys have made are also been adopted. And a lot of that is making sure that we're, we're careful about from that standpoint. Uh, the other consideration too, that we would wanna make sure we do through this migration process is looking at the scene to be health at, at overall. Is there any data that really could be remediated or removed that really doesn't align? Is, is there some cases where SCCM has been left a little bit unattended for or you know, in, importing without a healthy kind of validation check related to network adapters or disks that maybe we would want to review and kind of remediate? Uh, and there's a lot of things that we could want to consider from that standpoint. And so taking that time to really review, uh, validate the data that we're looking for, make sure the mappings are aligned correctly, make sure that integration actually works successfully, really just testing it out from that standpoint too. Um, one thing to really consider from that standpoint as far as testing goes is that we're moving away from a simple transform map to import concept to more of a complex backend system where there's more tables involved, more concepts from there. So while configuring it will be a lot easier from an ETL standpoint, there's a lot of things to consider when we talk about migration from environment to environment, making sure this is production ready. So given all that, how can ITS help? Well, I think the biggest thing that ITS is really looking to do to help you through the migration is understanding where you get stuck. I mean, in most cases we talk about migrating could be easy and it could be complicated depending on what type of configurations you've made within SCCM today. So really where we're looking to help is through an advisory type engagement where coaching you through it, reviewing the data with you, um, looking for opportunities to improve what you're doing with SCCM, looking to make sure that the CMDB is, is in a healthy state so that we're not leaving you with a new integration that causes issues uh, at the same time as trying to improve issues. So really from going through that migration tool, looking for capabilities of taking our knowledge of where we've gone through these activities through a lab environment or even working through other, with other customers, whether it be with their migration similar to this, or even new customers standing up with service graph connectors, there's a lot of things we've seen and been able to do that really will help you through, through this process to make it hopefully streamlined, hopefully an easy engagement and take advantage of a free feature that was an upgrade that you should, we should all be doing. Uh, the other thing too to consider is that here at ITS, we actually have a development team that actually has been interacting and helping build out a lot of these integration for ServiceNow. So, a lot of our knowledge and maybe even capabilities related to that could be helpful for clients who run into issues or looking to adopt maybe new integrations or just kind of considering converting more than just SCCM to the service graph connectors. There's a lot of capabilities here that I think that, you know, we can really kind of consider and kind of make a plan for and, and really looking to help from, from that standpoint. Uh, so I, I would put into this that, you know, really from, you know, takeaway from this, this whole concept is that we're here to help you wherever you need with this migration. I think there's there's a lot of concepts from from a standpoint of where we can take advantage of what we're doing, and, and also really kind of take take uh, concepts of you know this is a a good useful kind of step towards a healthy scene to be that uh, we want to make sure that we ensure you guys are successful in. So thank you. Awesome, Jake. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. If you all have any questions about this topic or how ITS can help, you can schedule a time with an expert by going to www itsdelivers.com slash contact. Thank you all for joining. Have a great day.